So this conservative, you know, so people double down on the conservative approach. But the thing is, it's really broken. Um, and, and what we're seeing from a communication science standpoint is that there's an impasse that happens at a certain point with virtual assistants. We were talking about this before, where all of the research that we've done about the future of communications comes down to in the next three years, if you want to make a lot of money, bet on virtual assistants. Every major organization is coming out with their own version of Siri and or the ingredient players are providing technology to the other players to make these better systems. Um, but they cap out and they stop being helpful at a point when you don't give them the right kind of data and they don't know what to do with that data. And that data has to do with emotional encoded data. It has to do with collecting voice data so I can start to watch you over time as a virtual assistant to get to understand not so much the logic of what you're doing, because that's doesn't people aren't logical creatures. Right, right. We're we're social, you know, we're social creatures, and we do things that may not seem logical to get along with others, sure, sure. and to and to benefit sometimes be parties that cannot be seen within the system. Right, right. And there's real world social consequences if, for instance, a virtual assistant guided you in a certain direction that actually turned out to be the absolute wrong direction. And there was real world social consequences. Your mother stopped talking to you, for instance, right, right. because you know, it, you know, it sent her the, you know, something completely inappropriate on your behalf. Um, because eventually, you need these systems to stop just doing the direct command. You need them to start doing decisioning on your behalf for them to be really useful.